Batteries are the heart of a substation. All critical systems in a substation run off of battery power. Now, I'm not familiar across the land, but our particular systems, there's 62 volt cells, a little over two volts. So you have a 125 volt bank for direct current. And it runs breaker power, control power, and these are constantly charged. So it's kind of an AC powering DC, but if for some reason AC power is interrupted, all these critical systems will continue to operate on these batteries to make sure that they function the way that they should we test them and we usually just do tests you know to make sure that the acid is correct to specific gravities and the internal resistance and the connections between the cells and those sort of things but once in a while we have to really put the battery to a test so all these leads hooked up we monitor each individual cell and the voltage and then these two larger leads here that are going over to this unit, this actually puts a load on the entire bank, a large load, and it keeps the load on it for four hours minimum in order for it to pass the test. And we watch the voltage of the whole bank and each cell to make sure everything is healthy and uh, carries load like it should for the duration of the test to make sure that it would function correctly in the event of a power outage. But in order to do that and really draw these batteries down, we have to disconnect them from the substation to test them. We use that disconnect panel right there. So how do we do that? We use a battery trailer. It's just a trailer and it's got a battery in it and it's mobile. So inside this trailer, it has its own charger, disconnect, and a set of batteries that are meant to travel over the road, locomotive batteries. And we put the entire station on these batteries so that we can disconnect the other batteries and test them. And this whole unit's mobile, and then that way with this single battery that will power a substation, we can take this around and use it to power substations while we do the testing on them. So it's a pretty, pretty neat idea, and it works out handy for maintenance. That's what the battery trailer is, and that's why we have it, and that's how we use it.